Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast Club. Yes, so Jeezy was on Ari Melber, and he was talking about his new album, 2020 Pyrex Vision. And then another thing he started talking about is Donald Trump and what's been going on with coronavirus and Donald Trump's leadership. Here's what he had to say. I've seen those type of people in my life, and um, I mean, Trump is, he's one of a kind, man, because, you know, it, it takes a different type of leader to make things about him. And I just feel like a lot of times you see his ego and. Right now, it's, it's, you know, it's about the people. And, and to me, you know, you're talking make, make America great. We're going to make America greater than it's ever been with or without him. Yeah, I watched right. that I in think, real time. Yeah, I think that's something we all knew, that he has a pretty big ego, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I do miss uh, politically politically driven Jeezy, though, because that Recession album is a classic, and it really captured the moment that we were in back in 2008. All right, now let's talk about Tiger King, the docuseries Tiger King. Everybody was so into that. It looks like they're going to be putting out another episode. Now, here is uh, Joe Exotic talking. You know, it would be nice if I could actually see me being famous out there, but I'm, I've seen these same four walls for a year and a half. Go sit in a cage with your animal for a week. I mean, when I left the zoo and I sent my chimpanzees to the sanctuary in Florida and imagine what my chimpanzees went through for 18 years. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm, I'm done with the, the Carol Baskin saga. Uh, it's now time to turn the tables and, and Joe get out of jail, uh, a free man, and exonerate it from all these charges. You think he's going to get out of jail? No. I'm starting to think Tiger think- King not real, bro. What you mean? I don't know. I'm starting to think that this is it's, it's a lot of uh, I don't know. I feel like it feels very Blair Witch Project to me. Are we sure Joe Exotic's in jail? I think they've been filming this for over the course of years. Yeah, so, he's like mm. and he's been trying to do a reality show for quite some time now. So that would take a lot of planning <laughs> if this wasn't mm. even real. But uh, in addition to that, here is. Jeff Lowe talking about the new episode that's going to be coming out sometime this week. Netflix is adding one more episode. We'll be on next week. Next week, week yeah. We're filming here tomorrow. Take care, stay safe, and put your mask on. All right, so you that's think something that, new you for think, you guys to watch while we're all at home quarantine. Do you think that them uh, testing the tiger at the Bronx Zoo and coronavirus was marketing for this new episode? No. No. I think somebody in the zoo, uh, that uh, one of the handlers had it, and they just tested to make sure the animals were okay. Yeah, and you know what? I saw a lot of memes and jokes about that with Carol and, you know, Tiger King and all of that. It's just the timing of all this happening. Now, speaking of being at home quarantine, Teddy Riley and Babyface, I was looking forward to seeing this battle happen over the weekend. It was supposed to go down yesterday, but it has been postponed. According to Swizz and Timbaland, who have been the ones organizing all of these battles recently, they did uh, say that it wasn't because anybody didn't want to do it or nobody backed out or anything like that. They just had to postpone it. Charlemagne actually spoke to Teddy Riley on Instagram uh, live yesterday. It took Charlemagne about nine minutes and 32 seconds to connect. But when he (laughs) finally did, what did Teddy Riley say, Charlemagne? Why isn't the battle happening between you and the legendary Babyface tonight? Nobody's backing out. Uh, Babyface is moving forward. He's not actually 100%. You know, he's been sick. What it is, is uh, we kind of pulled back because we really want this done right. And we don't want the stops from uh, Instagram. It it don't seem like it's going to happen on IG Live if it happens. It's going to go through IG. The thing about it is this new system is really for what we want to do because I don't think I want to go head up with him and us going back and forth. We need mediators. Okay. What does mean mediators mean, Charlemagne? I guess they wanted to be um, like a for real battle. Yeah, I don't I don't know. He explained it, uh, what the mediators are. I like I like the I like it just the way it is, you know, just two brothers getting on and then, you know, people just commenting in the comments. Cause you know, it's it's one of those things where nobody really loses in these battles. Like, cause all you do is like you see these two legends, whoever it is, and Correct. they're showcasing their material. It's not like somebody actually loses. I mean, even though we say, okay, you know, Manny Fresh lost to Scott Storch or T Pain lost to Little John, there's really no loser. But nobody lost. Things. Yeah, yeah, there's no loser. Yeah, and I think the great thing about it is people are showcasing things that you never thought of or you didn't know they did this song. You didn't know. So it is great for everybody involved because you're not going to battle somebody that is not at least up to this pedigree to you that there's a there could be an argument made. It's not a shutout ever. Right. Right. Yeah. And he now, said he thinks it's going to happen um, in the next the next next week. I think he said between Wednesday and Sunday. But who knows? I hope so. And while we're all at home, did anybody watch WWE WrestleMania over the weekend? I did watch it and it was tra- well. 
it it's was hard, right? With no audience. Yeah, yeah, my son loved it. This was his first introduction to wrestling. He loved it. He was jumping off the couches and all that. But it was so trash without a crowd. There was nobody cheering. Yeah. It was just very odd. The audience awkward. matters a lot. It does. It, it, yeah, and you know, the NBA and, and ESPN are working on a televised horse competition with some high profile players also. So they oh, don't have the exact details of how that's going to happen. But participants will be playing remotely from their home gyms, going shot for shot against their competitors. Because it's looking like they're not going to do this NBA season when this is all done. I'm, I'm about to say, if you can play horse, you can play a game of NBA. But if you're doing it remotely, I guess that makes sense. I was talking to my man, Damian Lillard. He was on uh, Genius's Instagram uh, live this weekend and he was just on there like listening to people rap <laughs> so it's like yeah brothers need to get back to work <laughs> all right but we also got to stay safe right so i'm angela yep. Yee, and that is your rumor report